Hello and welcome to the part one of the three part series on RV mining. Let me begin with why this video. At the moment of publishing this video, I'm not aware of any other video that provides a step by step tutorial on RV mining. A lot of fellow miners have faced issue to get performance remotely close to the projected numbers by the public calculators. Now unlike other mining, RV mining isn't plug and play. It needs investment in time and there is a learning curve to get optimized results. However, it's worth it, so stay tuned. Now after watching this video, you would be able to get knowledge on some RV mining hardware choices, two, how to use the mining software, particularly the Cronenberg miner, which is a private miner, on a private mining pool and three tune your existing platform to get optimized hash rates so after spending considerable amount of time optimizing my machines I was able to take a Ryzen 9 3950X to deliver more than 3500 hashes and a Threadripper 3970X to deliver more than 7500 hashes Please note that these hash rates are at 50 to 60 percent of the total wave. My tuning journey isn't complete yet. I probably might not be able to get to 100 percent sync anytime soon, but whatever procedures I follow to get optimized hash rates, it still holds. Now let's look at how the hardware impacts RV mining. RV mining uses Spora or succinct proofs of random access. And Spora hash rate is mainly impacted by three things. One, your CPU speed. Two, your disk speed. Specifically, we are interested in the 4K random reads. And three, the RAM speed and the RAM timings. We'll discuss each of the above in detail in the next few minutes. Now let's look at some CPU hardware choices. CPU selection is very important and affects Spora hash rate. Now Spora uses RandomX. If people who are not familiar with RandomX, this is the same mining algorithm that's being used by a popular mining crypto coin called Monero. For RandomX, you would need to pick a CPU that delivers high RandomX hash rate. Now, almost all the Zen second gen and higher CPUs such as the Ryzen series, the Threadripper series, or the Epic series favor the RandomX mining algorithm. It is so because for RandomX performance, you would need 2 megabytes of L3 cache per CPU thread. This is the reason why Intel is not able to come close to the modern Ryzen processors for RandomX performance. It doesn't have enough cache needed per thread on majority of the consumer grade processors. Let's take an example of Ryzen 9 3950X. It's a 16 core 32 thread processor with 64 megabytes of L3 cache available. This means you can fully utilize all the threads for Spora. Here are some recommendations for processor choices for RV mining. I would say the 12 core 3900X, the 16 core 3950X, the Ryzen 5000 series if the 3000 series isn't available is also an excellent choice. 5900X and 5950X are both excellent choices. If you want to go something higher on more expensive platform, that would be the Threadripper. 3960X, 3970X and 3990X. You would also be able to support larger amount of weave on these Threadripper platforms just because they have significantly more number of PCI lanes available. Moving on to some motherboard choices. What we are interested in is a motherboard that has more number of PCI lanes and M.2 slots available. Discussing more on the Ryzen platform series, we have X470 or X570 motherboards with support PCIe bifurcation natively. 
What it does is it allows you to use add-in cards that support mounting up to four NVMe drives on your primary 16x slot. This is the same slot where you would have populated a high-performing GPU, for example. Threadripper and Threadripper Pro platforms support this natively on almost all of the PCI slots that's available. Moving on to the next hardware choice, which is storage. This is also the most controversial and confusing choices for RV mining. At the moment, Spora Hashrate is greatly benefited by having a faster storage. Recall that I mentioned that it's mainly impacted by 4K random reads and NVMe drives are an excellent choice for this. SSDs are the next best choice. Note that a typical 4K random read numbers of good NVMe drives are in the range of 250 to 750,000, while that of SSDs are in the range of 70 to 95,000. In comparison, HDDs barely get 250. Now that's really a paltry number in comparison to SSDs and NVMe drives. You can now imagine how the performance would get impacted by using a faster storage. The new miners do need to consider that RV is moving to HDD mining in future. This is currently stipulated to be released on version 2.6. We don't have an estimate on when this would happen. I would say also avoid QLC drives just because uh, the random reads are not really good, especially the low-end QLC drives. The top end still is a pretty solid choice, but they are expensive. When I did experiment with the NVMe drives, I found that top-end Gen 3 drives are actually better than cheaper Gen 4 drives. I would recommend Samsung 970 EVO Plus, 980 Pro, the Western Digital SN700, the Western Digital SN750 and 850 as excellent choice. Uh, I've also used SanDisk Pro which is also similar to SN750 series. That also sold as an excellent NVMe drive. If you are looking for something cheaper, I would recommend the SN550. Even with the changed parts in the SN550, it turned out to be fairly performing drive in terms of 4K random reads. If I recall correctly, I was getting somewhere around 200 to 250,000 IOPS. Now let's move on to the third and the final piece of hardware for your RV mining. It is the RAM. A typical Ryzen CPU is limited by the Infinity Fabric Clock, uh, seen as F Clock in BIOS. So you would want it to be in the ratio 1 is 1 with your DRAM or DDR4 clock. This is typically highlighted as M Clock or MCLK in your BIOS. Most modern Ryzen CPUs can do 3600 to 3800 MHz on the Infinity Fabric Clock. So what you want, want is the memory clock speed set to 3600 or 3800 so that it's now in 1 is to 1 ratio. Along with this you would also want to tighten the memory timings as much as possible. If you are running a dual channel platform like all the consumer grade rides and CPUs I would recommend to go for 2 into 8 gigabytes RAM kit. However, if you're running a Threadripper or a Threadripper Pro platform, I would recommend to go for a quad channel or an octa channel configuration, respectively. Now, in my experiments, tightening the RAM timings, particularly the TRFC, improved the hash rate significantly. The primary RAM timings obviously are a factor. I got hash rate improvements in the order of 4000 hashes on RandomX on a Threadripper 3970X 
just by tweaking the RAM timings alone. In my experiments, um, I have used uh, the Micron E die kits and Samsung B die kits. Samsung B die kits is highly touted to be the best performing kits available in the market. I would recommend the same for random X performance. Grab any pair of Samsung B die kit and you're good to go. That concludes the part one on RV mining. Uh, in part two, we would look at step-by-step -step guide on how to use the Cronenberg miner and how to set up your storage configuration for the best hash rates. And in part three of the RV mining series, we would look at some debugging and uh, tips and tricks to improve the Spora hash rate. Thanks for watching.